takes water out of your cup, <laughs> splashes it on the ground, fucks up the entire house. He thinks, I'm gonna roll around on the floor and wait for somebody to pet me. And then I'm gonna kiss the camera all day. It ain't food, bitch. <laughs> What's up guys? So today we're going to go ahead and tackle this fuse panel. Uh, what we got right here is some um, ABS plastic I think it's called. You can pick this up off Amazon, eBay, uh, Google, wherever the hell you want to go to. Um, and then you'll just have to cut it if you're looking to install it in a car or whatever you're using this for. Um, and right here we have some relays. So these are standard relays. I think they're uh, 40 volt relays uh, 12 volt relays so 40 amps um, and these are these were five pin relays or five wire relays I went and took the middle one out uh, the middle one was originally this red and what that's gonna do actually I'll just tell you later whenever we get into it but basically I just took the red one out took this blue wire that was out of here and pinned it with the red because this is going to be my new power. Um, but we'll go ahead and show you how to make your own fuse uh, block relay or fuse block uh, panel. It's actually really simple. Uh, when I was looking into it I was kind of sketched. But um, now just looking at it and just everything I've read, uh, it's actually not hard at all. Uh, might be a little bit intimidating at first, but you can get it done, no problem. Uh, here we just have some heat shrink that we're going to be using on the connectors and everything. Uh, this is my fuse panel. Uh, this is where the power is going to go into from the battery. So your power from your battery comes in here and then disperses to the relays from here. Um, these are just fuses and some connectors. We got more connectors. We're using 16 to 14 gauge wire connectors. Uh, we got some shitty crimpers. And uh, what else we got here? We got these power distribution blocks. So what I'm going to use these for is running the wire from the relay over here and then from uh, either my switch my switch will go into half of these and then whatever device I'm trying to power will go into the other one. So I'll explain that later. And basically the only thing else we have is soldering iron um, and some solder and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll show you how to get this knocked out and looking real good boy. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video or not, but you might be asking yourself, why is that plastic so spotty and weird looking? Well, that's because daddy here is a retard, and whenever he traces out the fucking, the design, he does it on the part that he's actually going to be showing. So, you have... Or not you, because you're probably smart. But Daddy here, he has gold marks from his pin all around, just showing. So, I had to go ahead and just give it some spray paint, which completely ruined the look that I wanted. It was a nice gray, flat, textured look. Now it just looks like black plastic with herpes. Now what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these down and uh, screw them in or whatever. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is get my links for this and then get my links for my, uh, for my uh, distribution block here and this one over here as well. 
I'm going to take them back off so I can get some nice, uh, nice solder, a nice solder job on these wires. And, uh, cause I don't want it, I don't want to be sitting here with a solder gun fucking up, dripping shit. Uh, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to get the links and then after that we'll take it back off and go through the motions. <laughs> cut uh, to length so we're gonna head and throw some connectors on them heat shrink them we're gonna do that over here at this station uh, and then after that we're just gonna wire everything up pretty much I'm gonna leave these these blacks uh, I'm gonna leave these black wires just <clears throat> here for now I have a uh, a, uh, another distribution block coming in where I'm going to tie all these wires into it and then just run a bigger ground, a single ground off of it <clears throat> and ground it to the chassis. So I'm not going to worry about these for now. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. That shit is fucking trash, dog. <laughs> So I went ahead and got everything put together. So this is what you get. Nice clean look. Could have been a little better, but whatever. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and go through what everything is. Uh, in this kit, the there was blue wires for the power. And they came out of, I don't know if you can see this. Probably not. Anyways, this is a five pin or a five wire relay, all of them, but I don't need five wires. So the blue was the positive and this red was like an accessory light or an accessory wire. So what you would use that for would be like, for instance, a warning light to where if you didn't have your fans on or anything like that, you could wire it up to a warning light letting you know that it's not on. Um, but I didn't like the fact that there's blue being my power, more of it being red, so I know what it is. So that's why I switched that, and I depinned it because I didn't need the other one. So we have this post right here, this post, there's going to be a wire coming off of the battery going right to here, which will power this whole relay, or this whole uh, fuse block. And it's going to distribute power throughout all of these wires and power these relays. Then you have your yellow. So the yellow is going to be coming down here, which I'll cross over to whatever I'm trying to power. So this could be a fan, this could be headlights, whatever. It doesn't matter. That That's what you're going to be wiring your actual... Um, accessory or whatever whatever you want and then the white is going to be your switch so you run a wire off your white to your switch and then that way whenever you turn on power it's going to send power through here which sends power through here and then out so that's how you're going to build it it's super super easy if you have any questions comment down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn that that uh that little notification bell ring that mother YouTube doesn't like the doesn't like to give everybody updates whenever it whenever a new video is posted unless you hit that 
that uh, that bell. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you boys next time.